John Oaks here with Hangster's Hot Rods uh, out of our Indiana, Pennsylvania showroom here. And uh, we're just coming to you here today with our newest addition to our inventory. And this is a 1966 uh, Chevrolet Chevelle SS convertible. And yes, it is a real SS. It is a 138 VIN code car. Um, so we'll do our uh, video underneath here just as we always do starting here at the back. So as we can see, um, you can see the dual exhaust here all the way clear from the long tube headers all the way back dual mufflers and complete with the tailpipes here out the rear of the car. Uh, and that exhaust looks to be all fairly new. Um, you can see the condition of it, really nice pipes, uh, no, no signs of any corrosion or anything on those. Um, the frame rails, you can see frame rails on the back here, those are in excellent shape. Fuel tank, factory fuel tank for this car. Um, it does have um, the straps, all the mounting hardware, all of that's in really good condition as well on the car. We move a little further ahead here, we've got the GM 12 volt rear end. This is a 377 Posi unit here. And then out at either end of the rear end, you've got drum brakes here. Uh, and then of course you've got the factory rally wheels, which you probably can't see from the back sides here. Uh, with the uh, Firestone Super Sport wide oval tires mounted on all four corners. And you'll see those as we get the car down and do our outside video. Um, if you can, you can look up underneath here just a little further and you can see um, what we'll see a little bit uh, later here with the floors. Uh, everything is painted up the same blue as the exterior of the car, marina blue, uh, and those floors are just in excellent condition on this car so what we'll do at this time we'll go ahead and move up underneath the center now here we are underneath the center of our 66 chevelle ss convertible uh, so now we can really get a good look at the floors get a better look at the exhaust up underneath the center of the car here so as i mentioned before those floors are in really good condition on this car you can see all painted up the same as the exterior of the car Frame rails are in good shape too in this car, all nice and square, they're not banged or dented or anything like that. Um, you can see a little better here, the factory rear suspension back here, you've got the coils, you've got the control arms here, the lower control arms, upper A arms just in a little bit above the rear end there. Nice painted black drive shaft to kind of offset it in here. And then the transmission mount, that looks to be in good shape too. The uh, urethane bushing back here to support the tail shaft, that's in good condition too. I said pretty new uh, exhaust earlier, all the way from the, the long tube headers all the way back. So you can see that they do have it tucked in real nice and tight here to the floor and towards the drive shaft, the center of the car there. So it keeps everything nice uh, uh, out of the way there. Uh, looks to have all new fuel line too, all the way back. Uh, so you, no issues there with any kind of corrosion or anything like that. Everything's new. Uh, and then of course transmission. We've got an automatic transmission here. This is a Turbo 400. Uh, you can see they've got the cast aluminum pan on here too. The fin pan to help with cooling and so forth too. And of course the dust cover there on the flywheel. So uh, with that said, uh, we'll go ahead now, move up underneath the front end of the car and we'll finish up with our underside video. And finally, underneath the front end of our 66 Chevelle SS convertible. Uh, finishing up here, again, we'll do um, from side to side on the car. So starting out here, um, again, I mentioned that we've got our factory rally wheels with those Firestone Super Sport wide oval tires here. So that's what you see right here. This is a disc brake car up front, power brakes, uh, power steering as well. Um, all of your suspension components are just all of the, the stock stamp steel components. So items like your lower control arms, the upper A arms, spindles, um, that's all stock factory stuff. Um, tie rods, if you look at your ends, the boots, um, the ball joints, the boots on all of those, everything's intact and looks to be in good condition on the car. You also have the front sway bar here on the front of the car and the bushings um, in the supports for that look to be in good shape also. Um, frame rails, uh, you can see the frame rails here. Those are good and straight also on the front of the car. Um, and uh, I'd say it's probably had 
uh, all new transmission lines on it also coming from the radiator back to the tranny there. You can see those lines, they all look to be all fresh and all new. Um, so again, a lot of your lines, um, you know, have been replaced on the car, so there's not going to be any issue of any corrosion or any leaks or anything like that. Um, so that's uh, basically about it for underneath our car here. Um, we'll go ahead and get her down off the lift now. We'll do our video uh, walk around of the outside and show you, uh, you know, interior of the trunk, and we'll also get underneath the hood for you as well. All right, now we have our 66 Chevelle convertible SS down off the lift here, so we can go around the outside here with you. Of course, I've already mentioned it's got that marina blue exterior, paints very nice on this car. Um, you've got the 396 turbo jet cross flag emblems up here on the front fender. Now that's not the, the motor that's in it, but they do have the emblems on it here to keep it looking authentic. Um, you've got the steel SS hood with the vents there in the hood. Um, as again, I've mentioned uh, the Redline Firestone Super Sport Wide Oval Tires uh, on those 14 inch factory style rally wheels complete with beauty rings and center caps. Um, all the bright work on this car is in very nice condition. All the moldings around the windows, the uh, wing windows, everything like that. Um, you've got the driver's side mirror over here. This is just a manual adjust, not a remote adjust mirror. And again, that white convertible top. The top on this car is in very nice condition. Again, with some age there, you'll see you know, some, some markings and so forth, but this top is in really good condition. Um, it does come complete with the parade boot, uh, which is also the blue color, um, and it can go on uh, whenever you have the top down. Door fitment, you can see here your door gaps the whole way around the door are really good. Um, elevations are good too on the doors. Um, we'll go over here and we'll open our door, take a look inside our car here, and you'll see we've got the all blue vinyl interior also to go along with the blue exterior. Um, this car does have the factory bucket seats in it. Uh, all the seat covers, both front and rear, are in really good condition. Factory dash, factory instrumentation. You'll have gauges like the battery and fuel gauge, the 120 mile an hour speedo, uh, your temperature and your oil gauge. You also have a knee knocker tack down there mounted under the dash, and you also have a factory automatic center console that does have the center console clock mounted in it. Factory heater controls, factory AM radio. Door panels on this car are in really good shape. Carpeting, um, it's, you know, it's blue carpeting and it's got, you know, a couple little stains here and there. But uh, again, all in all, in very good condition uh, for a mostly all original car. Um, the weather stripping around the door is in good shape. Um, again, it is a little bit older, um, so you will see a little bit of aging there. And you do have the factory rubber butt stops there on the door, both top and bottom. Uh, we'll go ahead and close the door up. And we'll continue on back. Quarter panel, again, panels, uh, fitment, alignment, everything like that, all good, nice and straight. Again, you've got a big car, so it's really easy to see all the nice straight lines on the car whenever you're standing here up close to it. Uh, again, those rally wheels with those red line Firestone tires, the Super Sport Emma back here on the quarter panel, uh, and that brings us to the rear of the car. So what we'll do now is come around back here, Take a look at the back end, we'll open the trunk up and show you inside the trunk. Alright, now that we're back behind our 66 Chevelle Convertible SS, uh, you can take a look at the rear of the car now. All of, again, your bright work and your trim around the trunk and around the taillights, just like new here. The lenses on your taillights, no cracks, no chips, those look to be pretty new too. Uh, nicely chromed rear bumper. We'll see the front one was out, it's just as nice back here. You've got the Chevelle uh, emblem back here, along with the SS396 back here, all on the tail panel of the car. We'll go ahead and we'll open up our trunk, just to take a look inside. But everything in here is very nice as well. Again, the underside of the trunk, you see that marina blue color there, they have it followed through the whole car here. The weather stripping that goes the whole way around the trunk, uh, very nice condition that looks to be new so sealing up from the elements should not be an issue with this car 
And again, the trunk floor itself, all good and solid, all nicely finished off with the correct trunk spatter paint back in there that you would find in this car original. So uh, that's pretty much it back here. We'll go ahead and we'll close our trunk up. And then what we can do is take a look at your gaps here around the trunk. Those look to be really good, both side to side, very uniform. And the elevation, just about as good as what you could ask for. Something else that we can see from the rear of the car here now is the rear window in the convertible top. Now it is, let me just walk up here and make sure. Yep, it is just the plastic window. But again, a lot of times you'll see, you know, some like scratching and so forth in here. Not on this one. This is looks to be fairly new and in really good shape here. And again, all of that bright work, uh, the moldings around there is in excellent condition as well. So with that now, we'll go ahead and we'll come around now the passenger side of the car and work our way all the way up to the front of the car then. Now on the passenger side of the car, everything that's over here, we've already kind of gone over on the driver's side. So real quickly, just to kind of rehash, we've got the Super Sport emblems on the quarter panel. We've got the wheel lip moldings. You also have your trim work here along the bottom edge of the car, uh, all the way up underneath the doors there also. Again, the rally wheels, beauty rings and centers, those redline Firestone Super Sport wide oval tires. Again, you get to see the condition of the convertible top on this side too. And again, it is very nice. You don't see any tears, no holes, no frayed edges, nothing like that. It's nice and tight and looks very good. No, no wrinkles either that, to even speak of. Uh, again, just really nice condition on that top. The door, again, the uh, gaps, both front and rear, very uniform on the car. The elevation of the door, fitment, it's real good too. We'll go ahead and open up this door, take a look inside here now. Again, insides of the doors all the way around, the marina blue exterior paint. We've got the rubber bump stops both on the top and on the bottom. Weather stripping on this side looks to be really good. No signs of any cracks or tears on, on this side here. Door panel, very nice. All the screws that attach it intact. Uh, again, we have the factory dash, the factory bucket seats, no tears or cracks in any of the seats. Uh, and then like your door jam view seals and everything like that, threshold plates, those are in really good condition as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned on the other side, but we do have all of our seat belts present in this car. So front and rear belts all in the car. We'll close the door up and you'll notice again, I only mentioned it has the driver's side here, nothing here on the passenger side. And then again, as we come up towards the front of the car, got the steel hood, you can see the vents on this side, wheel lip molding, the rally wheels, the red line tires, and that 396 turbo jet emblem, which again, that is not the motor that's in the car, but we'll get to that here in just a moment. Um, so with that said, we'll go around, come around the front of the car now, we'll get that hood up, and then we will take a look at what is under the hood for you. All right, finally now, at the front end of our 66 Chevelle Super Sport convertible here. Uh, again, that front end, um, very, you know, iconic of the 66 Chevelle, uh, the whole muscle car era. You see this nose, you know what's coming towards you. Uh, again, that grill work on this car in very good shape, the blacked out grill, all the bright work in excellent condition as well. Got the three SS396 uh, grill emblem here right in the center. Um, all of your headlight bezels, all the trim around those, those are in really good shape as well. Headlights, the lenses, no cracks in those. Those are in good shape also. And again, that very nicely chromed front bumper there to really set everything off. Uh, again, I mentioned that we have the steel SS hood, complete with the SS scoops up in the center of the hood there. And again, you've got your little hood ornament here right on the front, all in good shape. What we'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and open the hood up and now we'll talk about what's underneath the hood. Okay, so first thing we have here, you do notice it is a big block car, but it's not the 396. They did replace this motor, swapped it out. This is a 1970 uh, LS5, 450 four cubic inch motor, 390 horse. Um, so again, they, they replaced it with a good replacement block. Uh, 
uh, for you know getting one in there. Uh, anyways, um, we have all the heater lines hooked up. You can see the chrome air cleaner and valve covers on the car. You'll see this side has the breather. Uh, the passenger side over here, we have the PCV valve in it, so carburetor and everything will breathe correctly. Um, you've got a Holley dual feed four barrel carburetor, complete with electric choke. You've got the power brakes back there, power steering down here. You've got a factory style radiator in here, complete with a six blade cooling fan here, flex fan. And you have the shroud there on the fan as well. Aluminum intake, you've got the chrome uh, gooseneck here for your water, top water hose there. Um, and that's really about it for underneath the hood. Uh, long tube headers, and again, the underside of the hood painted that same marina blue exterior. And again, they've got all the hood insulation packed up inside that hood too. So that's about it. We'll go ahead and we'll fire it up then and show you what it sounds like. Uh, other than that though, um, any questions? Uh, anything at all that we can help you with, definitely feel free to uh, give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll be glad to help in any way we can.